One interesting fact that a lot of people don't know is that throughout his professional career at the Chicago Bulls, Jordan wore two pairs of shorts. <laughs> uh, the standard Chicago Bulls red uniform. But underneath those, and this is where it gets interesting, he also wore the blue University of North Carolina shorts from his days playing college ball. Wow. Yeah. So he's wearing two pairs of shorts, which I found. But they clash too. He's wearing blue That's red. Right. So he had to fully cover them, right? And, and this is another interesting thing, and I, I didn't really know about this at all. Um, to fit the second pair of shorts underneath, he requested that the uniform manufacturer, uh, appropriately called Champion, mm. uh, made his shorts longer and wider so that he could fully cover the smaller, shorter, tighter Yep. Standard basketball shorts. And Jordan's request changed everything. Well, at least basketball shorts fashion. Probably so, it didn't change everything. Of course, because <laughs> they used to be like almost like footy AFL footy yeah. shorts, like quite short. Short and tight. And then they have went to like really long and baggy. And according to an article at dish.com, uh, this is a quote, at first nobody seemed to take note of Jordan's change in uniform as a hot trend. By the end of the 1989 season, though, Scotty Pippen was also wearing his shorts below the knees, and as Jordan's popularity grew, he appeared in more commercials for Nike wearing his new baggy shorts. By the time the 1990 season began, every team in the NBA had a few players wearing baggy shorts, but notably Utah Jazz point guard John Stockton was the last professional player to hold out with his short shorts, which was just a personal preference. So the ho- it swept through just... in just a matter of a couple of years. It went from Jordan is the only one with big baggy shorts, handful of players, everyone but John Stockton. Bring... That was the evolution. <laughs> is John Stockton, did he just retire? <laughs> and he, that was it? He retired his shorts. I say bring back the short shorts. Oh, especially on men with such long legs. Wow. I lo- those, that, yeah, that retro footage is sick. I, I remember seeing that old footage, but I just... Mm. Fascinating that it just one yeah. guy for a practical reason and just how cool he is in the community, he affected everyone. That's how it happens though. I remember that happening in high school. Michael Jordan dropped by. Yeah, and we he all started pigtails. wearing our shorts. <laughs> no, there was a girl at my school who was like very effortlessly cool. It's one of those people. And she had these. You're talking about yourself in third person again? <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> now I'm effortlessly. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> you learnt it. You learnt that. Skill. I learnt Sorry, that. tell me about it. Um, she wore a specific school shoe. It was a T bar, and oh, that would be at my school too. Yeah, well, like, and but the rest of us weren't wearing them. We were all wearing lace up shoes. She had like the sandals, and my mum had been saying for years, "You should get these T bars." I was like, "Oh, mum, no, I want lace up shoes, and I'm going to wear socks, not stockings." Oh. And then like. Felicity was wearing T-bars and stockings and I was like, um, Mum, I need T-bars <laughs> this year and uh, can you get me some blue stockings, please? not wearing the stupid thing you made me wear. I, I hate you. I can't believe you thought this was a good idea. And she was like, I'm going to murder you. So she, was that because a flick, as, as we yes, call her, yep. didn't give a shit? Or is it is that was that a like a? She was just she was just so cool, and then it just kind of spread. Everybody was wearing them. That's so oh, funny. Gonna... And now they've banned them at my old school. Banned the T-bars? Yep. So we were one of the last generations to get to wear T-bars at my school. Now they're seen as a symbol of rebellion. Yep. Once again. <sighs> it's pretty great. So I get I get the Jordan effect. Yeah, I what, get it. What happened to Flick? I don't know. She so, left the school in year eight. Year really? Nine. Yeah. What, to start, start trends at another? She's like, my work here is done. Yeah. She's like, I've healed them. Next. <laughs> is that like like a heel? Is that a pun on heel? Is that a pun on heel? Yes, I meant that. So good. Thank you. <laughs> Your mind is so sharp. It's very sharp. 